Welcome to the home of our Huli, a small record label with a big history. More than 50 years of capturing traditional American music. I just like to catch sounds that I like. Chris Strachwitz is our Huli's founder. He grew up in Germany under Nazi rule. As a teen, he ended up in the U.S. Here it was just extraordinary. I heard all these uh, hillbilly music and blues, and, and, and I simply fell in love with the whole idea of recording. In 1961, during his last year as a teacher at Los Gatos High, with a reel-to-reel -reel and a microphone, Chris began to travel around the country recording music for what would become our Huli Records. Down Home Blues, Hillbilly, New Orleans Jazz, Cajun, Zydeco, Mexican. Chris found lots of it in the Bay Area. I made a lot of recordings in people's homes, in clubs, at, at concerts. Even in his own home where Chris recorded the song Oakland Blues on the guitar, Big Joe Williams, on vocals, his wife Mary. The Mississippi blues man had pulled a knife on a woman in Oakland. He ended up spending 60 days in Alameda County's Greystone Jail. He was very emotional. He poured it out and I think within about two hours we finished the whole album. In the 60s, Chris also recorded Louisiana Creole music with the Appaloosa's Playboys. He heard them perform in a tiny dance hall in South San Francisco. I went there and, and there was this amazing little band and of accordion, fiddle, uh, washboard and drums. And it was just haunting. They played real low down stuff. Chris learned how to make his own records. Thousands of songs ended up on the Arhuli label, but one song, first recorded in Berkeley, became world famous. Berkeley in the 60s, full of civil unrest and protests against the Vietnam War. Here in 1965, Chris recorded a skiffle band singing an anti-war anthem. The group, Country Joe and the Fish, the song, I Feel Like I'm Fixin' to Die Rag. I mean, he hung a microphone from the lamp in his living room. <laughs> <laughs> and we all gathered around the microphone. Joe gave Chris publishing rights to the song. I had never dreamed that it would become popular and that people would, would like it. That allowed Chris to buy the building now housing our Huli. Chris scoured his archives and put together four CDs worth of songs he recorded in the Bay Area during the 60s. They are really musical snapshots. They'll never be the same. They'll never happen again. Just like we change every day. The box set, Hear Me Howling, is full of blues, ballads, and beyond. It's been nominated for two Grammys. Adam Machado wrote the liner notes. It's a real honor to work for a guy like that who believes in what he does and just does it out of sheer heart.